This is the Osprey Daylight Sling Bag. Now before I get into the specs and the pros and cons of this particular bag, let's just go over why these types of bags are very popular. In an urban environment, it allows you to be able to move the bag to your front. Obviously, you still want to be able to make sure that your things are secure. It's harder to steal from a sling bag compared to a backpack. So let's go ahead and get into the particulars of this bag. This bag only weighs half a pound, or about a quarter of a kilo, and its space is rated at 300 366 cubic inches. That's about 6 liters. So it's smaller than the Patagonia Atom, but the form factor remains the same. And if you're environmentally conscious, this bag was made using four recycled 500 milliliter plastic bottles. So it gets that eco-friendly sustainable design approval. Now that we've gotten the technical particulars of this bag out of the way, let's go over the pros. The first one is a big one. It's lightweight. That enables you to carry it for a longer period of time without it being cumbersome or feel like it's taking up too much space. Another pro for this bag, it's very compact. It's perfect for an urban environment. You can go ahead and sling this bag to your front and carry it in that position. That makes sure that pickpockets have a harder time getting to your bag and its contents compared to a backpack or a regular messenger bag. If you take a lot of public transportation, especially crowded train cars, you know that it's very important to be able to make sure that your gear is secure, someplace that you can see it and get to it quickly. Another benefit of this bag is that it's ambidextrous. You can carry this over either shoulder or under either arm. All you have to do is switch where the strap connects at the bottom, and now the load will be appropriate for whatever arm you sling it over or under. Another good thing about this bag, and I mentioned this with the technical specs, it's made out of recycled material. Turning trash into treasure is always a good thing. Also because it's very compact, it's very difficult to overload. You don't start planning out all these different scenarios that you may encounter, and you're going to start thinking about what you actually need on a daily basis that may not fit in your pockets. Another good point about this bag is that it's relatively cheap. So I understand that $35 to $40 will still be expensive in some countries, but here is the ultimate benefit of this bag. It has one of the best lifetime warranties on the market. It's even listed on their tag called the Almighty Guarantee that states any reason, any product, any era. So for any reason, free of charge, they're going to attempt to fix the damage or defect found on your product. And they do state whether it was purchased in 1974 or yesterday. And if they're unable to repair it, they're going to replace it. That is an excellent guarantee and I think that's what makes this brand very special compared to a lot of other brands that you may use. Now it's not all perfect in rainbows. Here are the cons. Number one, the material is very thin feeling and the mesh material that lines the inside part of the bag that goes over your body, it feels pretty thin. It's probably a good idea to give this bag a once over every month or so so that you make sure you're not wearing a hole in any spots here. If you got to send the bag in, you're going to be out of a bag however long it takes to either repair or replace it. The durability issue isn't just limited to the fabric itself either. The plastic buckles are actually thin enough for me to bend with my finger pressure alone. I think that under any kind of stress or duress, that's going to be important. In addition, the little swivel clip seems like it could break if you put enough pressure on it. So, I mean, your mileage may vary. You might have a way more laid back approach to handling your things than I do. Another con is that because it's ambidextrous, the way that this opens is directly over the top. So if you're like me and you like slinging that bag over your front so that you can access things, be aware of where the zipper is. Don't rush in too fast because it's really easy to open all the way up and have all your stuff start spilling out. There goes lunch. It's not going to be able to hold a lot, but that's not the point of these bags. These bags are supposed to clear out what's in your pockets anyway. And with things relaxing at places like professional offices, briefcases are more more and more being relegated to things of the past, just like walking into an office wearing a fedora. It might have been appropriate in the 60s. Today, it doesn't really matter that much because we have a different world. We have a different set of circumstances. We have a different culture that we have to live with. So what's my overall impression of this bag? It's a very good, versatile, lightweight urban sling bag. Its main goal is to get things out of your pockets and out of the way. And with a price of $35 to $40, it's going to empty your pockets without emptying your pocket. The icing on the cake is the warranty. You can't really beat a forever deal like that. So if you like how I presented that information, go ahead and give me a subscribe. Hit that like button. Let me know if there are any changes that you'd like to see me make. And hopefully I'm providing you guys with some useful information. So until the next time, be good, stay safe, have a good one.